hybrid reactor. Roll off. What's up, Reactor Ice? I'm John from Nerd Reactor. And I'm Mike. And in this video, we're going to be reacting to the honest trailer for Star Wars that uh, Screen Junkies just released. So uh, let's check it out. From the once masterful director who just couldn't leave well enough alone comes the special effects blockbuster that transformed the entire film industry into an assembly line for special effects blockbusters and action figures. Star Wars, the first one. We are not calling it a new hope. Right along with some of film's most iconic characters, surrounded by film's most iconic props and designs, and some of the most iconic locations ever, to the point where every single person, place, or thing on screen has at least a 1,000 word Wikipedia article about it. Did you know that these guys are called Jizz Whalers? <laughs> Whalers. Meet heroes like Princess Leia, the most interesting of the two human females in the entire movie. Han Solo, a real Han Solo type. Obi-Wan, a wise Jedi master who doesn't remember the droid that saved his life several times. Don't seem to remember ever owning a droid. The droids, conscious beings with feelings and free will, who were bought and sold as slaves. Do you think they'll melt us down? Please don't deactivate me. Hashtag droid lives matter, guys. And Luke Skywalker, a whiny space brat. In the Tashi station to pick up some power converters. Hmm, kind of reminds me of someone. It's all Obi-Wan's fault. There's nothing I can do about it right now. I hate them! <laughs> but they're gonna kill her! It's not fair. It just isn't fair. Wait, so Hayden Christensen's acting choices were intentional? Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> Together, they'll go on one of the most epic space journeys of all time that would have been totally unnecessary if anyone had email. I've placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion into the memory systems of the SAR-2 unit. To take on the evil empire with an army of clumsy idiots. <laughs> Led by the most threatening villain of all time, Darth Vader, until you hear his original voice. Start tearing this ship apart piece by piece until you find those tapes. Find the passengers of this vessel. I want them alive! <laughs> Not so epic now, are you, bro? Return to a time when technology forced George Lucas to collaborate with other people as he teams up with masters in sound design, score, editing, and practical visual effects to deliver a near-perfect movie that he's made progressively worse with each special edition. Because if there's one thing the original Star Wars wasn't missing, it's poorly rendered, out-of-place CGI animals filling up every square inch of the frame! Dude, come on, get out of the way! Ugh, I can't even see the movie! Relive all the parts your nostalgia goggles keep you from admitting were kinda dumb. Like this guy in a bargain bin werewolf mask, the lightsaber battle where two old geezers gently poke at each other, and the most over-the-top Freudian finale of all time. Luke is the best push pilot in the outer rim territories. Look at the size of that thing. That came from behind should be able to penetrate the outer defense. Almost there. Almost there. Didn't go in. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Luke, at that speed, would you be able to pull out in time? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> So whether you're an old man who can move on from a 38-year-old movie for children, or a contrarian kid who thinks he's being edgy when he says the prequels were better, one thing is for sure. Han shot first. Starring Skywalker's in flight, Pew! Beats by Braid, Starford, Genuine Class, Dog is my co-pilot, Weezer, Porkins, aw, oh, that's just mean. And Oscar and a trash can. Satan? Blue milk and Nazis in space. <laughs> Joseph Campbell's Star Wars. As bad as we all want a real lightsaber, let's be realistic. We'd cut off our own hand in a week. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that was the honest trailer for Star Wars. Um, I thought it was fun. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That was, that was really, really uh, funny. And uh, it did point out a lot of stuff that, you know, people have known over the years as far as, like, you know, all the all the freaking special editions and re-releases. <laughs> and 
and the uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? Luke Skywalker whining compared to Anakin Skywalker whining. What's yeah. the difference? Mm, I don't know. Maybe Hayden Christensen is just not he's he's just not as good as Luke, I guess, yeah. or Mark Hamill. I don't know. Yeah, they both get. You can have whiny characters, but uh, it's like the delivery. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Hayden, his delivery is just very uh, very wooden. Yeah, I, I think uh, at least with Luke, he, he was like. He's, he's the main character in the first movie, but he really doesn't understand, like, his place in terms of, like, things that are happening, you know? Mm-hmm. He's still, like, the kid on the farm. He wants to go on an adventure. And then, like, everything just, like, happens so quick, you know? Like, Isn't that also uh, Anakin Skywalker? <laughs> yeah, but that was, you know, Anakin, uh, uh, Hayden, Hayden Christensen. You know, Hayden Christensen is uh, in, uh, was it the second and the, the third yeah. movie? Oh, God. <laughs> it's not, it's it's just, not relive that. Yeah, I think it's just the, uh, the acting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I heard, like, what, in the movies, the prequel movies, um, George Lucas only had them do one take. I'm not sure if that really did happen, but if that's true, that's bad. <laughs> Come on. Now you understand why the movies are so bad. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the um, the Honest trailer. Uh, we enjoyed it, too. And with that, I'm John. I'm Mike. And we'll see you guys next time.